Hi Chewies, here's Alexandra again and welcome to the next unboxing video. This time we have a look at the War Machine Battle Group Box Signar, kindly donated also from NST Harlequin. So a big thank you to you and here you can see the box from the front and as well as from behind. Here we have all the box content. And well, let's turn it around here. You have nice artwork and all that nice stuff. <clears throat> what also comes in the box, uh, previously two times shown, uh, is the War Machine Quick Start rules with, well, the Quick to Start rules. Not every rule, but the basic uh, combat rules are here and uh, the stat cards for all the contents of all the battle groups that are out there. <clears throat> so, and now let's start with uh, our first model. Also, uh, like in the Manoth uh, video, all this uh, box content is already built up and primed, so uh, I can't show you every single piece of it unprimed, but, well, I guess uh, this also fits the purpose. You can see. This is the Warcaster Commander Coleman Striker. These are his stat cards. He has uh, six focus points and grants your army six warjack points to spend on warjack. <laughs> <coughs> he has two weapons, a ranged weapon, uh, the Disruptor Pistol and the Quicksilver, his sword. Here are the rules for his weapons. These are his spells and his uh, one-time use feet. So, that was Commander Coleman Striker. Next one on the list is our Lancer. Signar Light Warjack. Here's the stat card. <coughs> he has a shock shield and a war spear. Here we have the model for him, medium sized base. And what I like about this model here is that the shield is attached to the side of the arm and not the front like in the Manoth uh, Warjax. <coughs> I kind of like uh, the style of this Warjax. They look very neat. This one has an additional uh, charge thing up here. And uh, for previous questions, well, NST Harlequin has magnetized uh, the Warjax, so <laughs> to swap out the arms or easy transportation or during the game making some nice moves. <laughs> so, what the Charger can do, and uh, the Lancer, sorry, here are the Special rules if you want to read it. <clears throat> Next up in the list is the previously mentioned Charger. This is also a light warjack with a medium sized base. And here's his stat card. He has a dual cannon with a power of 12. Fires two times. He has a battle hammer. Here's the rules for his dual cannon. And now let's have a closer look at the miniature itself. Very nicely detailed. A big fancy gun. Yeah, I kind of like this model. And last but not least comes the heavy warjack, the ironclad. This one here has a heavy warjack, he has a big base. And of course his stat card here. Quake hammer and an open fist. Seven points, well, medium 
point costs for him, not too high, not too low. <coughs> Here are the special rules of the Quake Hammer, if you want to read it. Yeah. That's all the content that it is here in the box. Two light watch eggs and a heavy watch egg and a walk caster. This uh, whole box content with, a, uh, <coughs> with all the watch eggs in here come to 11 points if you uh, reduce the watch egg points from him. And I think that's a very good start point to enter into War Machine. I really like this miniatures and <coughs> yeah, there's not very much else to say than grab your hammer and smash a other warjack in the face. <laughs> so I hope you like this little in view into this box content and we see us in the next video. Alexandra.